Users can define the actions of buttons and faders. Touch Options and Function Assignments to open the Assignments window. By default, the top button is Go. The button below that is Pause or Back. The fader is set to Latest Takes Precedence. The button directly below the fader is Select, and the bottom button is Flash. Buttons can be assigned a down action as well as an up action. By default, there is no up action assigned. To change a button assignment, touch the arrow to open the Button Options drop-down menu. Select the function you want to complete the command. Faders can be set to Latest Takes Precedence or Highest Takes Precedence. You can also assign a trigger level to the fader. So with a trigger level of 5%, the fader action would not start until the value reached 5%. To set the trigger level, touch the box and enter the level on the keypad. Press Enter to complete the command. You can choose if moving the fader up will trigger go, as well as choosing if bringing the fader all the way down will release the cue list. Button assignments are assigned to each occurrence of a cue list on a playback. So if the same cue list is present on two playbacks, each occurrence can have its own unique button assignment. If you want to apply your current button assignments to all occurrences of the cue list, touch the Push to All button.